In my last video, I went through my weight wars. If you haven't checked it out, just click the tab right here, and it'll take you back to episode one. This episode is about the moment when I became so disgusted with myself, and I knew I had to change my body, mind, and spirit once and for all. I saw this video of myself, and in this video, I saw a guy who had the tools around him, who was fairly self-taught and educated, who lived in a free country with the ability to change himself. I saw a young man who did not have discipline, who was lazy, who was blaming other people. I saw someone who could break the chains of his personal oppression and start helping others, showing other people and children that I worked with what it meant to live in the healthiest way possible. I also saw a man who, didn't change, who if he didn't change his life, could be a strain on the medical system in the future. A man who could one day cut his life short and be missed by all the people that love him. I was not prepared to let something that I had full control over make up my destiny. I made up my mind that I would change my spirit, mind, and these two things would transform my body. So I started at the top with my spiritual transformation. I had to make sure my spirit was right. I moved my computer out of my room and into the living room, as you can see. I wanted to keep myself accountable with video games, movies, lust, TV shows, and overall laziness. I spent more time in the Word, meditating, and that started to change my mind. I felt freer. My mind could think clearly. I started to get up earlier and learn more. I started executing on the plans that I had made for years with my children's storybooks, businesses, and feature films. My work life became stronger. I was able to lead more efficiently and effectively and take more time to help people. These two parts of my existence led to the change of my body. I decided for the first time in my life that no matter what the cost, I was going to change my family's eating habits. I was going to do more housework and help out. I was going to cook more for the family and for myself. I was going to breathe more fresh air. I was going to refocus. And most of all, I was just going to keep moving. I always wanted to be physically active, doing healthy living, and eating right at the same time. But that never happened. I was always doing one or two out of the three. Sometimes I was doing none out of the three. And that usually gain, helped me to gain a lot of weight, or caused me to gain a lot of weight. So, when I first started doing all three things at the same time, it was a chore, and it was a heck of a lot of work. But it felt fantastic. After the first week, my energy was going through the roof. My patience grew, my anger decreased. Now, at times, of course, I still stumbled, but I never felt better. Things that used to depress me were mere shadows of the past. I was learning to be more confident. I was learning, most of all, though, to have more faith. Faith in many ways, in many areas. I was able also to have the faith that I could do things that I had deemed impossible for years because of the abuse and the torment that I had faced. As of today, March 16, 2013, I weighed myself at 215 pounds and 98 kilos. In under 16 weeks, I've lost 40 pounds and 18 kilograms, or 18 kilograms. In this series, I want to share with you my opinions on eating and how to accomplish different goals, how to stretch, exercise, and through all my experiences, just show you what you can accomplish. Am I going to stumble? Of course. Am I going to have weeks or maybe not ever accomplish my full goal? Yeah, I might, but I'm going to keep trying. In season one, I'll be showing you my first steps for my initial weight loss and how I got to this point. And then my progression and my goal to 190 pounds or 86 kilograms. And in doing my first chin up, yeah, that's right, I have never done a chin up. I actually will probably be doing a video on how terrified I am of chin ups and pull ups because of a horrible experience I went through in grade four. But for now, my goal is to get to 190 pounds or 86 kilos. This would make me more than 100 pounds or 40 kilograms lighter since I started this real journey in June 2010. And about 
I think about 75 to 80 pounds since I was completely disgusted with myself in August. Which would also mean I haven't been 190 pounds since the age of 12 years old, if you can believe that. Which is a very liberating thought. I hope this series excites you, and I hope that you can learn from it. But most importantly, I hope you walk away with this one thing from the series. I want to show you my failures. Because I know we all go through the same walls in life and over we have to go over them. I want to show you in those weeks, hours, and moments in our lives, in between the times when we feel great and we want to tell people about our success. I want to show you in those moments the, between feeling great and confident, when you think you look great and you act great, and all those times when, you, when we as a collective feel like failures because of what we've eaten, drank, smoked, done that makes us feel like we're only three inches tall. I want to show you that I am sinful, I am weak, I am broken, just like anybody else, and I can stumble and probably will. But I'm going to try my best to succeed. And I hope that this will support you and that you can support me. Lastly, like I said earlier, if you want to try this stuff, my techniques, the way I'm telling you to do things, that's cool. I actually think that's awesome. But make sure you go to a doctor or trained professional because you may have something that you don't know about or a certain way of living that you have to change first before you could even attempt any things that I'm, I'm saying. That's why personal trainers are so cool. That's why a personal nutritionist will help you the best. All I'm doing is maybe giving you things and ideas to think about to get you to that next stage, maybe the first step in changing your life. Always search, search things out for yourself. Just like uh, LeVar from, I think it was Reading Rainbow, he said, you know, don't take my word for it. And that's the truth. Always ask for professionals, uh, professional's advice. I don't want you to get sick. I don't want you to get hurt. I just want people to see some hope in their situation, whether it's bullying, depression, finances, their family, life, eating, or sometimes just hate for oneself. I know you can make it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please... Tweet! Tumble! Like! Share! Thumbs up! Plus! Pin! Or do whatever you do, and please... Subscribe.